Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about International Monetary System, in which we will see IMF and IBRD with the objectives, working and evaluation. We will also see problems of international liquidity. So let's start it. As we know, Great Depression and World War II had adverse impact on our economy. Great Depression and World War II had adverse impact on our economy. Every country wanted to recover from this loss. That's why International Monetary Conference was held in July 1944 at Bretton Woods. This conference also known as the Bretton Woods Conference. It was attended by representatives of 44 countries. And during this conference, they decided to set up uh, two institutions. First is International Monetary Fund or we can say the IMF. Second is International Bank for Reconstruction and Development or we can say the IBRD. One most important thing, IBRD or World Bank both are same, don't be confused. Actually, IBRD is official name of a World Bank. So, both are same. Don't be confused. First of all, we will see International Monetary Fund. This organization came into existence on 27 December 1945. Currently, it has 191 member countries. And headquarter of this organization is in Washington, USA. And this is global organization and main mission of this organization are promote financial stability, facilitate international trade, reduce poverty and promote a sustainable economic growth. Now we are going to talk about objectives of International Monetary Fund. Provide monetary help to member countries. IMF provide short term and medium term loans to member countries. As we know, main mission of IMF promote financial stability and financial stability can be achieved by providing short term and medium term loans to member countries. Ensure stability in exchange rate. IMF provide guidance and advice to member countries on policies related to exchange rate. Promote international trade. IMF promote international trade of member countries by providing them financial help, policy advice. Plus, IMF also work with other organizations like World Trade Organization and World Bank in order to promote trade of member countries. Next objective, maintain equilibrium in balance of payment. International Monetary Fund try to eliminate this equilibrium in balance of payment. That's why whenever any member country face a deficit balance of payment, then IMF give them monetary help plus also give them some advice so that they can correct their balance of payment. Help member country during emergency by giving them short term or medium term loans. Profitable investment in capital. IMF support a poor nation. Plus, IMF also encourages a richer nation so that they can invest in poor nation. Obviously, when investment in poor nation increase, then output, income, employment will also increase. Eventually, poor nation will also grow. Promote global monetary cooperation. IMF try to maintain cooperation among member countries so that they work together on an issue related to exchange rate, balance of payment or any other trade related issue. Next objective, promoting high employment and sustainable economic growth. IMF aim to work on policies which increase employment and sustainable economic growth, reducing poverty around the world. IMF aim to support policies which work for economic growth and give contribute to reduce poverty, prevent financial crisis. IMF give financial help and advice to, uh, to its member countries so that they can prevent their financial crisis. Now we are going to talk about uh, working of IMF. Working of IMF mainly include structure and functions of IMF. Structure of IMF include board of governors, executive board and managing director. 
बोर्ड ऑफ गवर्नर इज हाइएस्ट डिसीजन मेकिंग बॉडी दैट मीन्स बोर्ड ऑफ गवर्नर होल्ड ऑल पावर ऑफ आई एम एफ एग्जेक्टिव बोर्ड ओवर सी डे टू डे वर्क ऑफ आई एम एफ मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर इज हेड ऑफ आई एम एफ ऑपरेटिंग स्टाफ एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर देयर वर्क एंड परफॉर्मेंस आई एम एफ फंक्शन मेनली डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री पार्ट रेगुलेटरी फंक्शन फाइनेंशियल फंक्शन एंड कंसल्टेटिव फंक्शन बींग एज अ रेगुलेटरी बॉडी आई एम एफ रेगुलेट एक्सचेंज रेट that means imf fixed maximum and minimum limit of value of currency of their member countries and the financial function means imf provide credit facility to its member country provide short term and medium term loans consultative functions are related to suggestion or advice that means whenever a member country face any financial crisis or any international trade related issue then uh, Uh, I am a provide them uh, advice or any type of uh, suggestion. Now is the critical evaluation of IMF. If some people criticize IMF for loan condition, some also said uh, condition of IMF loans are not uh, realistic. Uh, critics also said uh, IMF give more importance to financial stability rather than well-being of individual and local market. some critics also said imf advice is influenced by political consideration rather than purely technical economic analysis now we are going to talk about international bank for reconstruction and development or we can say the ibrd ibrd or world bank both are same official name of world bank is ibrd world bank is international bank that provide financial advice and research facilities to developing uh, countries world bank provide low interest loans interest free credit to developing countries and world bank does not operate for profit motive headquarter of world bank is in washington usa establishment date july 1944 currently world bank has 189 member countries now we are going to talk about objectives of world bank reconstruction and development that means main objective of world bank to improve condition of countries from the harmful effect of world war second as we know world war second had adverse impact on our economy uh, world bank provide long term capital to developing countries that means it offer various financial instrument like loans credit and grants to support their projects and reform in education health infrastructure and agriculture sectors ensure effective and successful implementation of developing project there are so many projects which are working under world bank and that's why world bank ensure effective and successful implementation of all these development projects next objective of world bank encourage private investment in underdeveloped country and promote international trade and also maintain equilibrium in balance of payment and world bank aim to provide zero to low interest rate loans to underdeveloped country and the world bank aim to establish peace time economy that means the world bank aim to transform war time economy to peace time economy and the world bank provide zero interested loans to countries those who are uh, doing work for environmental protection so we can say the world bank aim to ensure uh, environmental sustainability world bank aim to reduce poverty World Bank aim to address global challenges like pandemic poverty and migration now we are going to talk about working of world bank world bank work through five organizations and these organizations are called world bank group first of all world bank start with ibrd 1944 that's why this is official name of world bank first of all world bank start with ibrd in 1944 that's why this is official name of world bank after that all these organization was also established establish and currently world bank work through all these five organization first is ibrd which stand for international bank for reconstruction and development 
एंड प्रोवाइड लोन्स टू मिडल इनकम एंड क्रेडिट वर्थी लोअर इनकम कंट्रीज टू मार्केट बेस इंटरेस्ट रेट नेक्स्ट इंटरनेशनल डेवलपमेंट एसोसिएशन विच ऑफर फ्री लोन्स ग्रांट्स टेक्निकल असिस्टेंट टू पोरस कंट्रीज इन वर्ल्ड नेक्स्ट इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंस कॉरपोरेशन विच वर्क विद प्राइवेट सेक्टर टू फाइनेंस बिजनेस इन डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज नेक्स्ट मल्टीलैटरल इन्वेस्टमेंट गारंटी एजेंसी विच प्रोवाइड इंश्योरेंस टू फॉरेन इन्वेस्टर इन डेवलपिंग कंट्री लास्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंटरनेशनल सेंटर फॉर सेटलमेंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट डिस्प्यूट विच रिजोल्व कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन गवर्नमेंट एंड फॉरेन इन्वेस्टर नाउ इज ए क्रिटिकल इवेल्युएशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड बैंक क्रिटिक्स सेड वर्ल्ड बैंक पॉलिसीज प्रमोट इन्फ्लेशन सम पीपल ऑल्सो सेड वर्ल्ड बैंक एनकरेज हाई लेवल ऑफ लैंडिंग इवन वैन नॉट बेनिफिशियल फॉर डिवेलपमेंट सम ऑल्सो सेड वर्ल्ड बैंक फोकस ऑन इकनॉमिक ग्रोथ मोर रैदर दैन एनवायरमेंटल सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड वर्ल्ड बैंक फेल टू एड्रेस ह्यूमन राइट इशू रिलेटेड टू प्रोजेक्ट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ इंटरनेशनल लिक्विडिटी वट डू यू मीन बाय इंटरनेशनल लिक्विडिटी एज वी नो सम टाइम अवर बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट गोज इन डेफिसिट and there is a some stock of asset which available to monetary authorities so that they can correct their deficit in balance of payment it will be called international liquidity so we can say the international liquidity is stock of asset that available to monetary authorities in order to correct balance of payment deficit and international liquidity consists of gold foreign exchange reserve and some other assets what is main problem of international liquidity main problem of international liquidity is insufficient supply of liquidity asset that means when supply of liquidity asset is less than the demand it will be called problem of main problem of international liquidity now we will see how international monetary fund solve problem of international liquidity imf solve problem of international liquidity through sdr sdr stand for special drawing rights sdr are form of international money created by imf sdr are not physical currency it is unit of account for imf and its member sdr solve problem of international liquidity by supplementing standard reserve currencies so this is all about international monetary fund i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care